Police are hoping you can find these two people who may be connected to last week's shooting at the Edmondson Village Shopping Center that left one 16 year old boy dead and four other teens hurt. It's a story that we've been following since that shooting last Wednesday. Today, students return to Edmondson Westside High School for their first full day of classes since that shooting. And WJZ is live right now. Alex Glaze joins us from downtown. What did those students have to say to you today, Alex? Well, a number of the students that I spoke with said that today was hard. Less than a week ago, five of their classmates were gunned down. And even though counseling services have been made available, one of the students that I spoke with said that she's been feeling so much stress, she didn't want to be in school at all today. After a weekend of processing, I was okay, but then coming back here, it just raises a whole bunch of emotions. Edmondson Westside students returned to school for their first full day of classes since last week's shooting at Edmondson Village Shopping Center. Deontay Dorsey, a sophomore at Edmondson, was killed, and four other students were injured in that shooting. Kaylin Noel, a junior at Edmondson, says it was hard for her to return to school. I didn't really know the people, but it's just been very stressful, very hard. I don't want to be here at all. Police believe last week's shooting happened while students were on their lunch break. But somebody got to do something. It's getting out of control. WJZ asked Baltimore City Schools if there are any measures being considered to help address the issue of Edmondson students leaving school during the school day. In a statement to WJZ, City Schools said, we continue to offer counseling and support. Multiple businesses at the Edmonton Village Shopping Center have signs on their doors stating they won't serve students during school hours. Baltimore City Councilman Christopher Burnett, who represents the 8th District, doesn't believe that's enough. We've gone store to store and talked to anyone that would listen about what the current law is, and that's been a part of a larger strategy to better protect our kids. Councilman Not Burnett is proposing a change to a bill that already exists. Things. He's proposing to increase the penalty on businesses who knowingly serve minors during school hours from up to $500 to no less than $1,000 per incident. That ain't going to help. Not at all. I mean, that just might chase them away, but they still going to go somewhere else. Now, Councilman Burnett made it very clear that businesses are not to blame for the violence that happened last week at the Edmondson Village Shopping Center. He says that the only person or people responsible for that shooting are the ones that pulled the trigger. But Councilman Burnett's hope that with this proposed change is that businesses will become better partners with the city to keep kids safe. I'm Alex Glaze reporting for WJZ.